Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm here today to share with you a kit that I carry in my Facebook group. It is the uh, Shabby Chic Woodland Sleigh, and it isn't available in my Zibit store. It's only available in my Facebook group, and I will make sure to put a link below to the group if you're not already in there. I welcome you to join. And each kit comes with one of these gorgeous sleighs. And the sleigh is gold and it is covered in glitter. And I decided that I would just dry brush some gesso to kind of tone it down a little bit. So I do this um, all over the entire sleigh and in the inside and the outside. And it toned it down just enough. So you can still see the gold and you can still see the sparkle, but it's a little less intense because I really wanted it to to look shabby so in some places I get a, a little bit thicker than I want it but I can just rub over it with my finger to kind of take some of it off and I do do that in a couple places because I get a little overzealous you just start painting and you're like oh wait that's too much too much paint in one spot so I wasn't going for complete coverage I just wanted a little just tone it down a little bit but I really love the way this worked out so pretty let's see I can just rub right over there and take that off I had a little more there than I wanted um, you will also receive in your kit um, that beautiful wreath and I'm just going to dry brush over that wreath uh, just a little bit and it's great because it picks up more of the um, vines and I just I really love it I think I end up covering up most of it but um, when I first started I didn't have a clear plan of what I was going to do with all these goodies and, to, and you know until I started to get into it so I thought I'd dry brush that because I just love the way that looks and I didn't speed up this video but I did do it in sections because I could just can't craft that long at one time right now but I decided not to speed it up so that you could see it just it doesn't take a really long time to create something that's beautiful Love it. All right. Oh, these bottle brush, brush trees. I just love them. You get two in your kit. And I'm using a Mod Podge to brush over all of the bristles of the tree. Because I want my tree to be sparkly, of course. So I am going to add glitter. And there's, there's two different kits. There's a white kit and a pink kit. And I, of course, am using the pink kit. So I am going to put some beautiful pink glitter onto my tree. And I'm sorry it keeps getting out of frame there. When I'm filming it, it looks like it's in frame. So I really am gonna have to be more mindful of that. There it is, and here comes the glitter, and this is just like some um, really fine glitter that I'm using. I think I got it at Walmart. But it's my favorite shade of pink, and it's just gorgeous. And then I'll just tap off the um, excess and set it to dry. And just look at that amazing sparkle. So pretty. Love those. And this I am using Dilutions um, spray. I think it's called White Linen. And I have these amazing evergreen pipe cleaners. These are so wonderful. And you get four in your kit. And I'm using it again just to kind of tone down that green a little bit. And it worked perfectly. I love the way the spray looks on these evergreen pipe cleaners. So cute. 
So I thought I had pushed record and I didn't. So what I did with the wreath is I glued it onto one of the two doilies that come in the kit. And then um, you get a yard of this trim and I had already glued one layer in. And so now I'm coming back with a second layer to kind of stagger the petals. So they'll cover the wreath all the way around. And all of the trims included in the kit come with at least one yard. So after I was done with this, I still had so much stuff left over. But I love this trim because it's, it's like petals. I just think they're so, so super cute. So the only things that I will be using that don't come in the kit um, are the glues, the gesso, the glitter, and the tool. Everything else I'm using is included in the kit. You know, and what I really love is seeing what other people are doing with this kit because everybody has their own take on it and it's really been cool to see that. So this is just my take on the kit. And so now I'm just going to glue down those petals to kind of wrap around the wreath like I did with that first layer of trim. And again, I'm totally out of frame, sorry. I'm so sorry about that. But I just think this wreath is so cute and it fits perfectly on the back of the sleigh. At least that's where I put mine. And I had so much fun. Um, putting this kit together. Absolutely love it. Glue strings, glue strings everywhere, glue strings. So cute. So now I wanted to soften it up a little bit, so I'm adding a little bit of tool in there. And each um, kit comes with two big pieces of bling. This is the pink kit bling that I'm gonna be putting in there, one of the two pieces that you'll receive. In the white kit, they're clear rhinestone bling pieces. And they're just so super pretty. I think I only ended up using one of the bling pieces um, on the sleigh. So that's what's nice is there's a lot left over that you can still play with. And I am terrible at making bows, but luckily there have been some lovely um, tutorials on how to make bows um, on YouTube. And I watched a few of those and I used um, the seam binding in each kit. You will get five, five yards of seam binding. So in the pink kit, it's a really pale pink, which is my favorite color. So this is a really pale pink seam binding bow. It's so cute. And then I decided to add to the bow one of these rolled roses and you get 10 rolled roses in your kit. And isn't it adorable? All right, each kit comes with this little spool. And I just used my finger and kind of rubbed gesso all over it so it would be white. And then I have this other trim that also comes in the kit that you get a yard of and I just cut off a little piece of it to fit around the spool. I'm using Fabri-Tac for this so I don't burn myself. Aww. 
So I'm laying the second doily that comes in the kit just down in the bottom of the sleigh. And I love how you can see it from the sides. I just think it's so cute. And now I'm gonna put some tool in there and I'm building up in the back um, because I want my, I'm gonna put my trees in the sleigh and I want them to be raised up. like a little pink tool nest. Now I'm gonna use the spool to put one of the trees on so that the trees kind of stair step and one's up higher than the other. My pretty pink sparkly trees. Now you can see there on the back, I've already tied on the wreath to the back of the sleigh, but I'll give you a better shot of that in a minute. Oh, love the trees. They are super cute. So I'm going to put the other tree right next to it, but it'll be lower and I just, I think that's so pretty. Adorable. So I have this beautiful trim that I've added to the kit. It is a really pretty lace with pearls going down the middle and you will get a yard of it. And I have just cut off a small piece to tuck behind the trees on, along the back of the sleigh. Love it. And there's the wreath on the back. It's tied on with some eyelash trim. And here is where I decided to add the, um, the evergreen pipe cleaners. I wanted to go ahead and add them to um, the bottom of my sleigh. And I just think they look so cute there. I'm glad I sprayed it with that white, that white paint. I just, it looks nice. It looks a little frosted. And how cute, you can see that doily on the side. I just think that's adorable. It's already looking so cute. So um, you will get five bows in your kit and I decided that I would add um, bows to the top of the trees. I just love the little bows. So of course the pink kit has the pink bows and the white kit has little white bows. And here is that eyelash trim and you get five yards of this eyelash trim in your kit. And I am weaving it around the frame of the sleigh and that is easier said than done. <laughs> but it was worth it. It's just so super pretty. But yeah, it gave me a bit of a struggle. So I didn't video that whole process just enough to give you an idea of what I was doing. 
because then I had to get out uh, a pin to help me pull the eyelash trim through. So cute though. I'm so into doing Christmas crafts right now, I have to tell you. I've been working on some ornaments, which in my group we're also hosting an ornament swap. I can't wait to see what everybody does. And you will get um, an acrylic spray in each of the kits. And I decided just to put mine right there in the corner. And then I added that bow at the front. Obviously, I forgot to video that. And you also get um, 10 of these pearl beads that I used as fillers in my sleigh and around the trees. And I just think they're so pretty. And I did poke some behind there to kind of prop my trees up a little bit. And there's also these glittery snowflakes that come in the kit. And I'm just going to um, put a couple of those on. And then here, I think I've, I'm stopping to talk to one of my kids or something um, and not forget, I totally forgot that I'm recording. <laughs> it happens. So then I'm thinking one of these snowflakes would look really cool. Oh, I messed that part yet. I think I'm gonna put that one right there. But I end up wanting to put one on that bow in the front and wishing I wouldn't have added that little pink bow. Well, that happens all the time. I put stuff together, change my mind, and have to take it off and all that. So I'm like, yes, that should go there. Mm, we're going to remove this bow. So I had to actually get out my heat gun and, and uh, loosen that glue up a little bit. And I got it off, thank goodness, without ruining my bow. And that's much better. Loving it. All right, now I'm taking more of that um, trim that I used on the wreath and I decided that I would put it down both sides of my sleigh because just look how cute that is. And I used it right on the wreath and then on both sides of my sleigh and then I still have more of that trim left. So you get more than enough trim. And I'm outside doing the voiceover and I hear my air conditioner running because I live in Georgia so it still gets hot here. So I hope you can't hear that or it's not too loud. Oh, it's already so stinking cute. And I know I have this huge mess on my desk, but every time I get into a project, honestly, that's what happens. I make a big, huge mess. You know, because I don't want to stop the creative process to clean up the mess, for goodness sakes. No, we can't do that. It's like the mess will always be there. I don't know how long the mojo will go. So <laughs> I need to keep going while I've got the mojo.
All right, you also get a um, digital download with your kit, and uh, my friend Kim Fuller just made some wonderful digis to go with the sleigh kit. And one of them is this ban banner, and it's it says winter. So I was just gonna distress the edges, but then I was like, no, I had this bright idea. I want to glitter the edges of this banner. But I wasn't prepared, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna need something for it to dry on. And then I'm like, mm, I should probably have tweezers for this, then I can't find the tweezers, you know. That's how it goes. I found them. So I'm just running the edges of the um, pennant through the glue and then into the glitter. So when I put my banner together, it can have sparkle everything I do should be sparkly. <laughs> but also with the digital download, you get um, three Christmas tags um, and some sentiments. Kim really did a really nice job on those. Very grateful. She also made a new banner for our blog. If you haven't been over to check it out, I'll put a link below is so pretty and every kit comes with one of these birds these birds are fabulous but you know my bird needs to be sparkly so I thought well let me try and see if I can sparkle Mod Podge on this little bird and I'm using a very soft brush and a very gentle touch because I didn't want to ruin my bird because the birds are not cheap my friends I think they're so super cute. I love the curly feathery tails. Just love these birds. And you already know how I feel about the Sparkle Mod Podge. Best thing ever. And it really does work fantastically on the bird. I was a little worried at first, but it's amazing. It looks amazing. Look at the sparkle, gorgeous. Right now I'm gonna put my little banner together on some more of that eyelash trim. Loving it. I'm actually wishing now that I would have added glitter to the very um, top edge of the banner because I just did around that the other edges. I didn't do the top, but I'm thinking I might go back with some stickles across the top. And I'm very thankful for that Betty Crocker um, spatula. Got it at the dollar store. It has saved me many a burnt finger. And I'm doing this on my little craft mat. So it's actually gluing down to the craft mat. But that's what's awesome about the craft mat is I can just pull it right up and then it'll just be stuck to the eyelash trim. adorable little winter banner. So I hope you enjoyed my little Christmas uh, sleigh tutorial and if you're interested in a kit I will put a link to the Facebook group below and thank you everybody for watching.